Many lawmakers make their return to Washington this week, but one Kentucky congressman is making his exit. First District Congressman Ed Whitfield announced his resignation last week, and now his staff and fellow colleagues are dealing with his absence. Washington correspondent Kelly Meyer reports. Mr. Chairman, it's clearly important. The House Energy and Commerce Subcommittee convened Wednesday morning without Chairman Ed Whitfield. A little awkward day for me. I'm not used to being in this seat. As lawmakers return from recess, Whitfield's resignation was made permanent as of 6 p.m. Tuesday night. I'll miss him. Colleagues in the House shared their thoughts on the congressman's departure. He's made such a big impact on central and western Kentucky. Whitfield sent a letter to Kentucky Governor Matt Bevan announcing his resignation, which comes almost a year after a House investigation into ethics violations. Bevan is set to hold a special election the same time as the November 8th general election. The sign may still be here, but for now, the first district of Kentucky's office will operate without a member. So what does that mean for you back home? There's going to be really limited services that they're going to be able to access from the staff members. Niels Lesniewski, senior staff writer at Roll Call says the office will still be able to handle service requests, but anything that comes to policymaking won't get done until the special election. He says as rare as this may sound, it happens more often than you might think. The House is almost always uh, dealing with some sort of vacancy. From the departure of former Speaker John Boehner to Hawaii Congressman Mark Takai, who passed away this summer, offices are oftentimes left unrepresented for months at a time. For the first district office, the vacancy will only last until November 8th. Reporting in Washington, I'm Kelly Meyer. During the special election, voters will actually cast votes twice for a House member, once for the little November-December lame duck session, and once for the full term. As for the future of this office, Republican James Comer has already said he would be running for both offices against Democrat Sam Gaskins. If Comer wins, he will be ahead of seniority because of the lame duck session boost.